what's the matter? What happened? I'd heard the giant tree destroyed some of the area. But the precious ruins, the polycarbonate! Such a terrible loss of priceless history. Maybe Rain has a split personality too. Too? Well, I mean, when you're in battle, and sometimes even when you're not, you change into a different person. Really? I change when I'm not in battle? Yeah, I thought you knew. You said that the Knights of Ratatosk have the ability to change form in battle. Ah, uh, yes. It seems like I transform once I'm possessed by Ratatosk's power. And Ratatosk's core is living off of Marta. Yes, it's this jewel on my forehead. I see. Sorry to interrupt, but I sense both humans and monsters within the rubble. Perhaps we should investigate. Really? Rain, let's go take a look. It might be Lloyd. Yes, you're right. Let's go. are a fascinating creature, Tenebrae. May I touch you? If you wish. Ooh, you don't feel quite like a cat or a dog, or even Noish. I've never felt anything so soft, so this is what it's like to touch darkness. You are too kind, really. Whoa! Whoa. Your skin stretches this much? Ah, oh, this texture can only mean you're a shapeshifter. You must be quite experienced to make such deductions from a single touch. <laughs> Your way of speaking is quite interesting as well. Your interest is flattering. Man, I give up. Genus. Rain? What are you doing here? I thought the plan was to meet up back in Asalia. I'm sorry. It's just that I saw Lloyd, so I tried to follow him. Wait, who are these people with you? Ah, oh, well, you see. Wow. So that's why you all came here. So Lloyd came through here? He did, but now this monster's blocking the path. I tried attacking it, but it won't budge. I wonder how Lloyd managed to move it. Perhaps he fed the monster. What, what the hell is that? I am Centurion Tenebrae. A pleasure. Oh, right. You're that Tenebrae guy she mentioned. It's Tenebrae. Now then. When this particular monster is asleep, it absorbs all attacks. This thing wasn't here the last time we came to the ruins. This type of monster thrives in warm environments. It likely fled here in an effort to escape the oncoming cold. Okay, so first we need to get some food for this guy. What does he eat? His diet consists primarily of freshwater fish and monsters. Hmm. If we're looking for fresh water, the tree at Oasis isn't too far from here. If you're going to tree it, I'm coming with you. I'm tired of staring at this thing. So, when Colette was talking about maniacs, did she mean you, Rain? It's true that Colette and the others have often accused me of being an archaeology maniac. But what about the term maniac made you think of me? Oh, it's just that Colette mentioned a friend of hers who seemed to act like a totally different person near ruins. Like a different person? Yes. She described her friend's transformation as berserk, crazy, insane, frightening, dangerous, monstrous, inhuman, reckless, disturbing, and completely out of control, if I am not mistaken. And you're saying that's what I'm like, Emil? What? She didn't... Tenebrae, stop doing things like that! <laughs> Genus, you and Rain are siblings, right? So that would make you a half-elf too. Yeah, though I'd think that was pretty obvious. 
Half elf. What? The two of you don't like half elves? I don't mind the two I've met so far. Well then, that's good enough for me. We usually get dirty looks when people find out what we are. Was it that way with Lloyd? Lloyd's the kind of guy who couldn't care less if you were a half elf or anything else for that matter. He is? So this is what you've been up to. No wonder you've been away from Asalia an awfully long time. With everything people are saying about Lloyd these days, I figured I should get the story straight from him. I see. Well, I'm glad we ran into each other. Yeah. By the way, notice anything different about me? Hmm. What could it be? Come on! Can't you see I'm taller? Take a good look! My voice is even a little deeper. You don't say. How much taller are you? A sixteenth of an inch. <sighs> This is a desert. It must be related to all the strange weather we've been seeing everywhere. It was pretty cold in Aselia, too. But I was just here a few months ago, and it wasn't like this at all. I heard it started snowing here about a month ago. This may be due to a dormant Centurion's core. But would that cause the weather to change this dramatically? The natural balance could have been further disrupted by the awakening of another Centurion's core. Man, these Centurion's cores sound like serious trouble. My deepest apologies. As your weapon. Lloyd made it and gave it to me for my birthday. It helps me concentrate when I use magic. So you just started using it as a weapon after that? Sort of. See, once when I was playing with it, the string broke and the ball hit Lloyd smack in the head. Really? Colette took one look at Lloyd, passed out on the ground, and said I'd found the perfect weapon. I thought these people were supposed to be friends. Cold? Yeah, it's freezing. It's not even dark yet, and it's already this cold. How stupid is that? If we don't do something, and fast, I'm gonna freeze up solid. Really, Genus? I thought the cold didn't bother you all that much. That was just when I was a kid. You still look pretty much like a kid to me. Who, who asked you? I'm gonna have my growth spurt any day now. Snow in the desert. I do hope the desert's ecosystem will be all right. The majority of creatures that make their home here should be able to weather the cold, but still. I hadn't expected mana would be this far out of balance. Lord Ratatosk would be horribly dismayed at this state of affairs, I'm sure. But it's so romantic! Arm in arm with your significant other? It's the perfect place for a stroll. Significant other? Y yeah. Maybe me and... Persia could. I think we just got a glimpse of Genus's true colors. 